I've been trying to get in touch with you all for so long, so this is a new year, oh, so good. maybe I can get some help. Sure. Um, I've been injured on my job several times, and I didn't ever think I was going to be able to get up and, you know, be functional. Mm -hmm. So while I was off, um, it was advised to me that um, to go on and apply for my disability and because I was having a little trouble getting my work was comp. Okay. And when we went before the judge, I was granted work was comp. Now um, I'm disabled and my, my disability read that there's no job in the nation that I could do dealing with um, the medication, the pain, the amount of sleep, um, not able to drive, was really not able to eat mm -hmm. just um, frozen foods. I had just had went on, you know, I wasn't able then to have a full functional capacity or, or quality of life. Okay. And now <clears throat> they didn't know well, whatever went on between my attorney and my um, my coworker, and they said my workers, uh, who I worked for, a company I worked for, um, they was getting ready to mit mitigate, and by the time they went through that, all of a sudden he said he wanted to relinquish himself from my case, and he knew that, you know, everything, we, I got my mm, work was calm, um, Social Security disability, fully, uh, fully favorable, totally disabled, and now they want to get me to come back to work when I can't work. Okay. All right, Rose, let me let, me let Brett kind of talk to you a little bit about what, what he's heard so far. Okay. Well, I think to start with, workers' comp is obviously a very special aspect of the law. And in Alabama, it allows you to recover your medical bills, your permanent disability um, money. So essentially, any disability that you have, you get a percentage of your income back to you depending upon the disability. And then you get temporary total disability. And so um, what it sounds like to me that you're dealing with is a circumstance where it's whether it was compensable, they found it was compensable, so now you need to get a lawyer and you need to press forward. I know that you said that your lawyer had uh, withdrawn from the case, but I would certainly advise you to get a lawyer and move forward. Okay. Is that what you would think too, Andrew? Uh, that's right. And, and also, there's another issue that always arises in, in claims that have workers' compensation components as well as Social Security where it gets real complicated as far as who's entitled to receive what, and you can end up in a, in a tough situation without a lawyer in that, in that kind of a situation. Yeah.